Welcome to the BIF Talks of this 35th Braunschweig International Film Festival. My name is Clara Hense, and I have the great ple pleasure and privilege to be holding the BIF Talks, interviews with actors, directors, and guests of this festival. BIF Talks, this is an open discussion format. We want to have a closer look on the films we will be showing on this festival and on the people behind them. My guest now is Olga Bolas. Hi, welcome. Hello, hello. You're here with the film Volker, right? Yes. Volker, what is this film about? What about the title? <laughs> the title, it's um, in uh, prison language. Volka in Polish is freedom. Because wolność in Polish is freedom. And in a short way, in people in prison, they are saying going to Volka. So it means they are going, going for freedom. Freedom, which yeah. is then Iceland. How, did it, how does Poland and Iceland go, go together in this film? Can you explain that to me? First of all, in Iceland, there is like 10% of Poles living there. And my character, she's going to Iceland to search for something which is really important for her. It's her son. Sounds mysterious and I've seen this film and it was quite a journey. I would classify it as a thriller maybe and talking about your character, this is a very unusual female character, right? She has a very intense, emo like in intense energy. How did you develop this character? It was actually great adventure for me and fun to discover a woman like this inside me because she's my age and but she spent like 15 years in prison uh, because she killed someone and um, yes horrible but this is her and uh, when her son is asking, asking her why, why, why you killed my father she said because he pissed me off and this is the, this is how Anna, the main character, she thinks. And this is the way how she lives. Uh, but, um, but it's really not funny to spend 15 years in jail. But, um, um, but this is, you know, some, sometimes people grow up in a place where you don't have better choice. And uh, this is the story of Anna that she's from bad neighborhood and she didn't, actually she didn't have any other choices. And um, she became a drug dealer and um, maybe she has some problems with drugs or with, with, but we don't say it about this in, in movie because we decided with Arnie, um, the director, that we want, we won't say, we want, we don't want to judge her and we don't want to explain her why she's like this. But the most important thing is what she's doing after she's going, back, uh, she's going out from prison. And she didn't become a good girl because she doesn't know how to live differently than, you know, burn uh, or, or destroy or fight with people. But she's looking for her son. She's lo she lost him when, she was, when, when her son was like one year. So uh, yeah, the, the, the main thing, what she's doing in the movie, she's looking for her, herself, her son, and the life which she've lost. And she finds some kind of home in the Polish community in Iceland, I assume? Yeah, but she's lying constantly, and nobody knows who is she in real life. And when people get to know who she is, they don't like her at all. And they are, uh, you know, the, it's really like uh, the story is like ancient legend. It's like myth that whatever you want to do with your life, maybe it doesn't have any sense because your destiny is like this. You, you're just going to burn. You're just gonna destroy your life, and this is the case of Anna. And how was shooting with uh, the director in Iceland, which is his home? Um, Arni Oli Eisgerson, the director, he was my great friend. Unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. 
he died just before the premiere. But um, we we did his last movie, and I'm really glad that we we could finish it with him, and that he actually could do the movie as he wants. So we shoot the movie in Iceland, in very small Iceland, in a very small island next to Iceland, called Westmanier. Very small. Seven thousand people is on the island living, and we spend there like five weeks during COVID, alone, film crew. So it, we had time to shoot and to discuss about the movie because we didn't have anything better to do on the island, uh, just working. So um, I love island, uh, this island, and I love Iceland. I packed to Iceland like a month ago for the premiere, and I went to Westmanier to the island to to see with with people who was um, extras in the movie and with Icelandic crew. So it, gr it was great adventure, and uh, I really uh, love people from Iceland because they are uh, they are different than Poles, but in some ways they are, we are connected, and uh, actually I like the weather, <laughs> when I don't shoot I like the weather, because during the shooting it was horrible, because it was very windy and very cold, but the landscapes of Iceland is just magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pictures are amazing. And talking about you being part of a film, but from a different perspective, I've heard that you will change sides to the behind this, the scene and behind the uh, camera place. You'll become a director. How about that? How, what about the new projects you're up to? Uh, I think I just love making movies. And as, a, as an actress, I can, I can express the character on my own. But uh, as the director, I can create whole whole world, and uh, I love m movies like um, Wes Anderson, Wim Wenders, Tim Burton, and my first movie, short. It was in this this um, this kind of um, this kind of perspective, like they do movies very poetic and um, it's the, the name is Alice and the Frog and it's about a girl she lives in Poland she's 14 and she's trying to get abortion because she's pregnant but she doesn't want this this, this child and uh, because the, the, the abortion for her is so stressful so she's going inside herself and she's expressing herself more in in inside world than outside world. So uh, the movie went really well. We got many awards in whole world for this movie. And now I'm preparing the, the, the big movie. And uh, it will be about women too, because I'm very, very into women subjects. So so that's why I'm, I want to, I want to, show women and I want to talk about them and I think I know what 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 you know what kind of problems we have and that's why I want to make movie about ourselves it sounds amazing we're really looking forward to that also because we have a lot of competitions for people who do their debut or second film so yeah. we would love to see more of you <laughs> obviously um, coming back to the film you shot Volka um, You'll have Q and A's here. What about your expectations on that? Are you curious to see the reaction? Yes, yeah, a lot because uh, I uh, spoke with audience in Poland and in Iceland, and now it's first time when I'm gonna talk with people in Germany about the movie. And uh, I'm I'm very open for questions and how they gonna react on Anna because whole movie is about Anna. And uh, I love this movie, and because of, of my friendship with Arnie, and that this is the part of my life. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully you're gonna like it. 
Like, we will be showing another uh, film of Arnie, actually, um, this week, too, as a memory of him. Ten years ago, he was already a guest of this Braunschweig International Film Festival, and we will be showing Undercurrent again. Brim in Icelandic. I know because I saw it in Iceland, and I love this movie. So it's big really great. recommendation. Yeah. Also. <laughs> great. So I hope you're going to have a wonderful week here at Braunschweig International Film Festival and have great Q&As. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> da, 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 da. I don't know which camera, so... <laughs>